Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Here we go again. <laughs> Here we are going to talk about Kimstar and the Fortnite guy. Fight on Twitter and see who's the one that takes the victory. All this fight started when Kimstar point pointed the face high sky a 12 year old that joined the face clan. Holy golly. His Twitter was taken down then. Kimstar starts saying that Tifu ruined his life. We can confirm it because Tifu said on one his live stream by snitching. That's bad, Tifu. That's bad. Here's where the Fortnite guy comes and saying, "You for real going to blame Tifu and for her face and high sky doing something illegal." Also, his career is not ended, Lemo. Come on. Then Kimstar replies saying, "Like I say, just according." and lame then the fortnite guy replied yet again saying this corny and lame haha <laughs> you think a 12 year old's career is over when he has 1 million subs on youtube then you blame tifu team for ending and then when they are, were doing some doing something illegally kim started reply by saying you're the one you're the type of dude that hunts down the manager of a movie theater and and to rat out a few kids cause that snitch on their own candy before we get into the fire i want to say the crap why do you reply for night guy if kim starts say something bad at me i don't reply to him back because he's going to get me on a bad track and yet you reply with a corny and lame like come on man if you had a brain inside of you probably all this really won't happen like yeah okay let's continue then kim start with this saying who was high sky hurting by lying about his age no one and to all your you kids under tate under 8 13 with a dream in gaming entertainment watch out there's niches everywhere then kim start noticed that tifu like one of the Fortnite guys tweets and responds saying, Yeah, Tifu, not sure why you like this tweet. If you care so much about the law, then why you were drinking on, on the rage, the illegally jumping off bridges, etc. Haha, <laughs> snitch. Before we continue, let recap. Okay, the Fortnite guy start on Kimstar and Kimstar destroying him. Then Kimstar noticed that Tifu likes one of these Fortnite guy tweet. Then he respond for those people who doesn't know what Tifu did. Basically, he jumped off of a legally illegal bridge on on a damp. Then he was doing drinking underage. That's bad. Then Kim starts start tweeting memes of Tif of Tifu doing illegal things. That's it. Um, let's see what happens next. Um, I really want to know what happens next. Um, I will get you guys informed what happens next. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back with more info. Um, I got a tweet from Kim Star saying daily reminder that Tifu got 12 year old Twitch and Twitter taken down Lamo LMFO The Fortnite guy replies saying the daily reminder that Kim blames Tifu for face doing something illegal You act as if this was never going to get exposed for God's sakes Please say it was 11 on his stream yeah it was 11 on his stream but kimstar replies saying you're literally the king of missing information aka misleading information so let's play a game i will bet you one 10 million uh, cash that face did not break any law by signing high sky do you accept and say i'm waiting for an answer reply and the Fortnite guy replied, oh my god, laughing, laughing emoji. So you're saying face did not know high sky, high sky through age. No, no man. They literally allow a 12, uh, their 12 year player to stream on Twitch and play on the Fortnite World Cup. Not only this, but they, they lied to the entire community. I don't think you want to make a bet. 
Face Bank, Face Bank replied saying, allow Haskai high, high to stream and play in the, in the World Cup. What you're even saying, dude? I've ignored and ignored you, but I started to get annoyed. First, High Sky agreement with us is bulletproof, and there's no absolutely no laws being broken. Second, we have zero control in what it does. If it's true, it's true. I can I can stop live stream for one month, and they cannot stop. Uh, they cannot tell me you need to live stream right now. No, they cannot say that because. They have zero control on me. That's stupid. Fortnite guy. The Fortnite guy, you see? Then the Fortnite guy replies saying, You have no control in him playing the World Cup. If my player signed into my org was 11 and playing in an event that you needed to be 13 in, I will step in and stop it. But they, but hey, you're not at fault at all. All? Not like you lied to the entire community about his age any or anything, huh? And Facebook replied, so what? So the f uh, f back word, what? High Sky was doing his, his own thing, streaming, playing before he came on the picture. We love him, brought him in and support him. What he was doing, if, if it was his parents 100% okay with. And they made the decision as a family to do that. Who duck am I? The Fortnite guy replied saying, Who the duck are you? Apparently the owner of the organization is signed in with. I think you're the one of the owners, right? I'm pretty sure almost any T1 or will realize letting an 11 year old sign to their team competing in an event He needed to be 13 for it isn't a good idea. And Kim started replying saying, why do you keep changing the subject? You say on Twitter and YouTube, Facebook broke the law by signing to High Sky. I made your run on Twitter and YouTube or make the 2K bet that you're right. And you may say, where did you put um, the 20K on, on this? Um, a face bank said replied to the tweet saying very easy 100k. Um, because he replied to one of his tweet. Um, I can confirm here. here. Um, okay, let's go to the other information that I found that saying. Um, Twitter, uh, Kimstar replies saying, you have said on Twitter and YouTube multiple times that Facecam broke the law by saying, signing High Sky to Face. I bet you $100 that Face did not break any law by signing High Sky. Do you accept? Stop saying, changing the subject. And in this tweet, in this tweet, um, I think, uh, Banks, um, no. The Fortnite guy replies saying, Face allow and encourage their underage employee to lie and complete an event that it needed to be 13 to complete in. It also possibly collected World Cup money from Epic, which will be illegally, independent on the contract Face might have been collect even collecting. Epic will call also sue Face. High Sky parents could have signed the contract making literally signing a legal, but that doesn't change the fact that FaZe hasn't broke the law with High Sky. Like, wow, man. Going deep on this. Then, um, if I search more on, on Kimstar on tweet, it starts saying, Um, face banks reply um with so yeah I do actually think he really wants to make that bet I will down double down and bet you another 10 million dollars on the same thing so Kim starts re uh, reply saying that's 20 million bet the Fortnite guy put your money where your mouth is or stop lying to your subscriber again 20 million to bet face Bad face did not break the law by signing High Sky, like you have publicity claim on Twitter and YouTube. 
um yeah this is really hard and track on and Kimstar uh, tweeted someone need to make a montage of all the times the Fortnite guy has put out false information it's embarrassing at this point dude won't even back up um, back up his own words with 20k bet has touched that and if you're wrong fine just admit it and move on um yet yeah, again okay. the fortnite guy replies oh my god i cannot more with this guy is killing me my back is killing me with this guy keeps replying on kingstar twitter just get the freaking out of twitter bro just say the truth oh man um kingstar replies to the fortnite guy saying um, look at this grown man trying to to corner me because I called them out for their bull uh, bull cow put 20 mil down puss, uh, cat no I'm not gonna back down you're on Twitter calling Tifu a snitch for what because he was being duck by face just almost every other esport player um, Kimstar, yes, he replies saying, if you're not going to back down, does this mean you're making the bet? Or just more talk with nothing to back it up? It's not backing up. You should back it up, bro. But you got duck. A.K. The bad word. Kimstar replied, if, if that call were, uh, the Fortnite guy makes the bet, I will 100% win and give the 10 mil to the one that got uh, one of you guys that retweets but trust me it won't make the bet is spin because with no research and it, it doesn't know it you know kim start uh tweeted out also if someone wants to make a youtube channel dedicated to be debunking the fortnite guy after a few videos if i like what i see i will give a plug on my drama alert channel I hope I get this. Um, sick of lace, lacing journalists. Your, your the Fortnite community is not the only one. There are a few others that like too. Yes, I seen a lot of uh, Fortnite, uh, Fortnite Twitter lying about misleading information. I agree with Kimstar. I think Kimstar is going to win this, and there's nothing. There's a lot of backup on Kimstar Twitter and tweets on all of this. Um, the Fortnite guy, my my bro, you lost all of this. Um, you were the one who failed this, and man. And Kimstar keeps replying saying, "Kim, I see a few clowns saying, but Kim's you got this wrong. Yes, I have. No one is perfect." But when I make mistake with a story, I'm the first one to expose myself. He correct the info. He expose himself. Then Kim started um, saying, imagine defending a snitch that got a 12 year old boy. His Twitter, he twitch shot down, hashtag sad. Then Kim started tweeted out, this dog guy should just block him. You are trying to get me back on me in the corner. Yes, I am. Duh. Make the bet or I made you lie to your fans. How hard is it to understand? And, you know, the dumb guy replied, okay, you're the one who keeps tagging me and saying, stop first, block me because I'm replying to instant. The um, blame will keep you crap me up. Man man wow i cannot believe this if that's true kim starts keep tagging him but doesn't make any different because he's tagging him because he want to make the bet okay then slappy uh tweeted out yes block him please lol like yeah block him he has four 53 six uh, seconds to make the bet and this I see what what happened times up fortnite fever <laughs> aka fortnite guy 
His new name has been blocked because he will not make the bet. So no one will win the tank mill. However, I feel bad you had to suffer with all those tweets. So I'm giving away a console of your choice to one person retweeting. To win, I will not, the winner will be picking one hour. It was 21 hours ago. Um, so yeah, that's almost everything that happened. That's literally it keeps uh, retweeting his tweets. Um, yeah, that's like almost the story of the Fortnite guy fiber and you know, man, that's really harsh and I really don't care because you know. The guy that well, oh, come on, like man, this man, um, Fortnite Fever just got wrecked by Tifu. And man, another story I want to talk about is Dr. Rick's pet saying that mobile gamers are not ga mobile, uh, mobile gamers aren't real gamers, you know what. What you get, the what you deserve, getting your Twitch banned because you were streaming on a public bathroom. Doctor Rick Peck, get wrecked, you nerd. You're not a real gamer because, because you're not a real gamer. We mobile gamers are real gamers. So yeah, that's all that. And before we go away. I wanna show the show this tweet saying I should protect the children from Tisu E eh, eh, E the Fortnite Fiber is really cool meme. I love it. Um that's really funny. Um come on like come on my god this is so funny um so yeah I hope you guys enjoying this um live stream and enjoy my my video and hope that you're okay so i will see you guys on another video please please like and share to a lot of people all this information because because kimstar is right he he deserves all of this and come on who cannot agree we all knew that the guy, the Fortnite Fiber, is the one that is being misleading, be uh, with wrong information and, and stuff. So don't go hate on Kimstar, but you can hate on Fortnite Fiber, you know. Um, but I will see you guys in another video. Bye.